<sighs> greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we are, what is it that we say, 14 days to Christmas. Hello, Becky. How are you? We are 14 days to Christmas and what, 20, 21 days to the end of the year? So what are you doing? What are your plans to empower yourself, setting intentions? Hello, Vartan. What I like to say is gearing yourself up, doing your planning for what is to come. But what is to come not only in your life, but what is to come into your life inside, within yourself. And thus, it's heal within. So today's episode, I want to mix and change it. I am full of energy. I am excited. Why am I excited? I think the excitement is because of all the things I am planning, I am strategizing, I am creating, I am desiring in my life to bring forth not only for you, but for all my clients. And that is what I want to talk to you about. It's full of on decisions that we make in our life that make a difference not only for ourselves but the people that surround us the people who are a part of us my clients my family my friends so hello 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 thank you for the beautiful emojis hello rubik thank you for being here hi andre um, by the way before i go any further i want to thank five specific people who uh, last time when I said I am opening like a mini heal talk, heal, healing uh, sessions, I had Anna, Maggie, Sam, Arton, and Pete call and we did 15 power mini sessions last Friday morning and it was absolutely wonderful it was great if you come on either live right now or you listen to this uh, on a repeat make sure you post something and you say something about it because this is what I do I want to give more maybe I cannot give each one of you a present but this is my gift so I am offering and I'm opening that again this Friday to do 15, 20 minute mini sessions, power sessions for five people. Let's do it for five people. We started with five people, we'll continue on five people. And that is starting at nine o'clock all the way through until we've got our five people completed. So if you want to be one of those who wants to have a power healing session with me, uh, we can talk about stress management, weight, smoking, self-confidence, whatever it is, by all means, uh, send me a message and we'll do this. Today, oh, let's talk about fears and love. That's what I want to talk about. What are fears? Why do we have fears? What can fear do for us? And what can fear do against us? And it's a contradiction. So I have my own fears. I've had my own fears throughout my life. I've had fear of what if what I am doing, either the therapy or the modality doesn't work? What if the strategy that I am doing for my business, it doesn't work? What if people think I'm not successful? What if, what if? Those are all small little, how am I doing it? How do I say? It's fears. But those fears are the most important thing that we have, just like our pains. Our pains, we get pain in our body because in a way it is sending a message to us that there is something wrong, that there is something off. And that's when we pay more attention to our body. That's when we pay more attention to the part that hurts. And that's what fears are. When we come to fear something, which is false emotions appearing real, that's what I like to call it. It's, 
is this true or is this true for me? Is this a reality or do I perceive it as my reality? Am I truly that unsuccessful? Am I uh, not producing enough? And if I wanted to produce enough, who is it that I wanted to produce for? And what are my blocks? What are the things that stand in my way? Is it true or is it my perception? You see, that's what I help my clients with. So I started doing my own healing therapy for myself as much as for my clients. And that's how I came to my 3E and mo I like to call it a method of evoking it and finding out where is this coming from because I wrote it over here because fear is like pain and to pay more attention to it fear can turn into anger fear can also turn and become more resentful if we don't pay attention to it in order to heal it so what part of that am I healing after evoking it it's about confidence being confident in what you are doing because if we say I have a fear of heights or a fear of elevator a fear of dog a fear of success working with my clients I have realized it's not so much of the success that most people feel of losing something or the fear of not being successful but their fear is if I do this I have to come out of my comfort zone and coming out of comfort zone in a way is scary in itself going into an elevator by yourself when you think you have fear of claustrophobia or an elevator elevator is just this box that holds you and lifts you up and that's how I helped one of my clients change her own perception about this is that they are successful in so many things and yet he had a fear of elevators going anywhere to get into an elevator in our action coaching in our therapy session as I do the hypnosis it was so easy for him to see how he has held himself back in becoming more successful in order for him not to come out of this comfort zone of where he is already touching that threshold of what he considers himself successful and not wanting to be more successful and that he was resenting so much of, of other things and being angry of situations and blaming other things where that simple mere self challenge self acceptance of getting into an elevator and changing that perception that this elevator lifts me up and I am ready to get into an uncomfortable position but push the button to penthouse and lift myself up to become more successful boom he opened his eyes while in session and turned around and said you mean all this time I didn't get into an elevator because of this he walks out of my office and half an hour later he calls me and says I just got into our office building and I pushed number 10 and then I got out then pushed the button again I got into the elevator I pushed number two and got out and pushed back in 
call the elevator, called it, and got in and went all the way to number 12, walked out of the door. And as I had put in the suggestions and he had accepted it in hypnosis, that every time a door opens, he sees a whole new opportunity about himself, his life, his success, and he looks forward to all doors opening because he is pushing the buttons. He's in total control and pushing the buttons for every door in his life to open. Well, all I can say, he is happy by riding an elevator and taking this elevator to go all the way up and then coming down and pushing buttons and having doors open for him. That's what I call a successful session. So what brought him here was fear of elevators. What he didn't realize was he had boxed himself in a fear of going to another level of becoming successful. So you might think they have nothing to do with each other, but I believe there is so much about who we are and what we do in our life that we don't realize the messages that we send to ourselves, either consciously or unconsciously, either knowingly or unknowingly. And then what we say is what we hear. The first person who hears it is you. The first person that everything you say, you do, you feel, no one else knows it but yourself. So I help decipher, unravel, unwrap your own thoughts, your own ideas, your own misconception of the things that was placed by you, for you, that no longer matter. So I like to turn it and say, what if, what if either in a mini session or a full session right here in uh, in my office, or I can even do Skype. But what if I can help you discover something that you never thought of, and all this time you have feared or placed a, a word, a cap, a label, you know? We can peel away those labels. We can peel away those band-aids that does nothing for you but just places it something in there and you say i have a scar in there and i you keep placing that band-aid you peel away and put a new band-aid you peel away and put a new band-aid with new affirmations new something but never allow that pain or that scar or that pus to come out in order for you to heal it fully and completely. Because the biggest organ in your body is that skin. And skin peels. If you go and scrub it, you go to spa, they scrub you hard. Because, you know, it's time for you to shower yourself, pamper yourself, and allow yourself to peel away the things that no longer work. And I wrote over here, you know, I do this. Uh, before I even come on, I like to write it and say, I want you to give yourself permission. Another word for it is allow yourself to rejuvenate yourself, to heal yourself, because love is one way to help you. I want you to help yourself by loving yourself more and devoting to yourself and helping you suffer less. Because that's what I do. I help you lovingly hold space for you so that you can shed release, let go, drop, peel away all the things that possibly held you back. So that I can empower you 
for you to realize how loving you can be for yourself because that's what love is. Love is, I like to say, to be happy, to be successful, and understanding your own needs and be your own best friend. So I help you see your desires, your fears, and yet be the support. Because what I like to do is not only in my healing circles, in the meetups that are supposed to and are going to start in January, we're creating meetups for mindfulness meetups, for weight meetups, for self-confidence and self-empowerment. It is for me to be a guide and support you for you to stand up for yourself. In order to do that, we have to have the confidence that, yes, I can do that. Yes, I matter. And I like to say, I see you. I hear you. And as you accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than anyone else, that's when you can go and help someone else and be a mentor. So today, 14 days, 20 days, it doesn't matter when is the next, as we call it, Christmas or day for a new year, a new beginning. Today can be the beginning of the decision that you make to make a change in your life and say yes to yourself. And I promise to stand by you, I'll hold your hand. Perhaps you need me to stand behind you so you can lean upon me. And there are times that I do stand in front of you so that I can safeguard you and empower you in a different way. And that's what I do, especially for our young kids and anyone else. So I am one call away. And you can just call me because healing is about healing within. <sighs> yes, take a moment. Let's do a thing. Ah, that didn't sound right. How can I ring a bell? Let's do this. Let me ring a bell. Linking. It's the season, right? It's the season to be jolly. It's the season to be giving. It's the season to feel good. It's the season to be joy and happy. But what is happy if you are not happy? So being authentic, being happy, being all that there is, it's about starting and saying yes to you today. This is Lisa. This has been an incredible day being with you on this 11th day of December. Thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays day every week. I was going to say day in, day out, but I'm not here every single day. Although sometimes I do come on and you can reach me at all times. So for those, who, who, for those of you who do not know what I do, I help you transform for the better. That's been my tagline. It's going to be my tagline for the new year to create balance and harmony. And that is what I will be bringing for you each and every week. So my strategy for my new year is setting intention, perhaps coming live day in and day out, being available. And it doesn't matter if you are sad, if you are angry, if you are resentful, if you are in pain. I'm here to stand by you. 
and guide you for you to peel that away. In closing, if there is something you have boxed yourself, if you have created a persona, a perception that you cannot do something, I want you to realize today that yes, you can. Today is the day that you can set intention and ride up and down an elevator and be the success that you truly desire in your life, in your relationships, at work, personally, professionally, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Someone yesterday asked me, how is it possible that I stay in shape like this and how much exercises do I do? Honestly, I do not go to the gym. I do not go and exercise, not only daily, I don't exercise even weekly, but I walk and I do my own visualization. And when there is something for me to eat, I take the last bite and give it away, drop it, put it in the trash can, eat the rest. Or I give the last bite or just leave it on the plate. So I have techniques for doing something because that's how I have, how do I say it, trained myself. And you can too. And I'll be more than happy to help you so you can change your mindset in order for you to be the success. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next week. And you can always go back and see my Heal Talk Tuesdays on my Heal Within page right here on my professional page or even on YouTube. We are there on, for the whole two years. All my sessions are available on YouTube. Starting next year, all my Heal Talk Tuesdays will be on Heal Within page. And for today, may the universal light be with you and God bless you. I look forward to the five people who want to have an power, many power sessions with me. Let me know, PM me, message me, call me, email me. God bless you. I hope today's session was beneficial to you. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Mm. This is good. Life is good.